Hi everyone, this is Erin Anning, your School Librarian Site Technology Facilitator, and I'm here today for the Introduction to Engineering course so you can learn how to research for your upcoming prosthetic hand report. Okay, uh, this time rather than using, you know, probably what you traditionally use, which is just, you know, website articles, you are actually going to get things from a database. Um, the database is called Science and Context, and there's not one, not two, but three ways to access it. One way is to use Clever, which I'm signed into right now, and you see it right here, the Gale databases, and from there you find Glen Oaks, then you're going to find the science one. Option two, which is Mac and Vue, which also happens to be right there. Excuse me, it's early in the morning. Uh, I'm yawning. Uh, is to go to Glen Oaks High, log in. This is where we have all of our ebooks and audiobooks. We have over 11,000. But we also have access to some of our databases. If you were to look to the left, you'd see the phrase databases. You would go there and you can access uh, the Gale databases and then the science one. Uh, last but certainly not least is probably the oldest method, but probably the one least known um, for many of my students. And that's to go to the ebrschools.org website, click on families. Go to research tools. Scroll down from middle and high, which is right here, Gale Online Resources. You can find Glen Oaks. Uh, we are categorized as a high school. And all of these are different databases that house a large amount of information in one location, and then they've been organized for you. That's what makes it so cool is they organized it for you, someone with a degree probably like me. We are going to specifically use the Science in Context database this time. Um, if you needed to expand, you'd probably want to go to uh, News. But for right now, we're going to stick with Science. I am off campus right now. If you're on campus, you go straight in. But, um, and I logged straight in because I was just there a few seconds ago. Um, it might ask you for a password that um, I will leave in your Google Classroom. I can't say it here because I don't know where this video will go, but I'll leave in your Google Classroom. But we now have Google Single Sign-On, so you should go straight in, okay? You're going to research something like the phrase prosthetic hand or prosthetic limb, um, prostheses, things of that nature. You can also browse topics. You can find an article that works for you. Um, I'm just going to pick one at random. I used to teach astronomy at the local observatory, so I'll pick this one. Notice just by browsing, I got 117 news articles, 670 magazines, etc. Remember, you're looking for the prosthetic hand. I'm going to pick an article. I like this article. Here's more like this that I can use. Let's say I like this article. I need to save it in a couple of locations. Okay. I can send it to my Google Drive, which can also be done up here. I could email it to myself. I could download it. I can print it. I can do all that up here. I can also get the link. And if I copy and paste this link, it'll send me directly back there, back to this article later on. Uh, the instructions for your assignment are that you are to definitely send it to your Google Drive for safekeeping. You will have to, you know, connect your Google Drive. And that you're going to have to turn um, in the articles you decide to use for your prosthetic hand. You will need at least three to your uh, Google Classroom. So your teacher and myself will have a copy. You will also have a copy because you sent it to your Google Drive to be on the safe side. And you've either, you know, downloaded and uploaded it into your Google Classroom or you've copied and pasted the Get link. Okay, now obviously this is not the subject you need. The subject you need has to do with the concept of the prosthetic hand.
Okay. So if I didn't like this, I could go here or I could do advanced search. I just want to start very broadly. There's prosthetic, but also many other things related to prosthetic. There's that phrase prosthetic hand, but maybe I want to use arm or prosthetic rehabilitation. Lots of things I could try. I'm in advanced search. I could definitely click full text, which means I can read the article. I can say I only want documents that have images. I'm going to say full text for sure. I could set the date. I could say what type of document. I want to set it by a certain reading level. Okay, and I get a variety of objects that have uh, documents and things that I could use. I can change some things if I need to. Okay. Once again, I click. I can send it to my Google Drive and download it. I can get the link. I can copy and paste the link to send me straight back in. Okay. So make sure you have three. The topic of your paper is going to be about um, a prosthetic hand. You'll have to find an angle. A claim about prosthetic hands. You need at least three articles by your um, Wednesday class. So that will be Wednesday, November 11th, because I will be back in your classroom and we will be using those articles. You have to have access to them and be ready to roll. If you have any questions, my name is Erin Anding. My email is E-M-U-R-R-A-Y. Please don't forget the A at ebrschools.org. Thank you so much.